First up is the Eclectus Parrot. They have bright, colorful feathers. This one is Yanni. She is the only female Eclectus Parrot that Asti has. Female Eclectus Parrot has dominant red feathers like Yanni here. Yanni is the eldest of three siblings that were born here at Asti. The second is Ega, and the third is Poops. This one is Oops. Male Eclectus Parrot has dominant green feathers. When they were still eggs, Yanni, Ega, and Oops were kept in an incubator until they hatch. After they hatch, Asti staffs took turns in carrying them, fed them, and taught them how to fly and eat on their own. Then when they were big and independent enough, they were moved to bigger cages. Next are the cockatoos. We care 5 species of cockatoos here at Asti. This is Duffy. She is one of our sulfur crested cockatoos. Their particular yellow crests are really easy to identify. Now this is Alba, our umbrella or white cockatoo. And the other one you can see here is Dewi, another sulfur crested cockatoo. They are really close to each other and often play together. Alba has a wholly white crest which raises like an umbrella, hence the species nickname Umbrella Cockatoo. This is our Molokan cockatoo, Pink. He has a large body covered with pinkish feathers. His head crest is comprised of mostly salmon pink feathers which are really beautiful. And the last one is the Tenimbar Corella berry. This species is the smallest species of the white cockatoos and they are originated from the Tanimbar Islands. Next is the big bird from Papua, the Southern Cassowaris Henry. Cassowaris were often brought from Papua when they were little as pets. The owners never thought that these birds can grow really big, so when they weren't able to care for them anymore, they gave them to rescue centers. This species is the biggest of all cassowary species. Despite their beautiful, colorful looks, the cassowaries are really dangerous and can attack, even kill a man if provoked, so be careful! The crested serpent eagles can be found in a lot of countries, from Pakistan, Nepal, Taiwan, Malaysia, and other countries including Indonesia. Here's how they sound like. The juvenile Brahmini kite has mostly chestnut brown feathers, and around 3 years of age, the feathers on its head and chest will turn to white like Izu here. The Brahmini kites are also widespread and can be found in Southern and Southeast Asia and also Australia. The Brahmini kite fits on fish, insects, and also carrions or dead animals on the ground. The saltwater crocodiles are the only reptiles at Asti. The biggest one is Snapper, which now is approximately 4 meters long. And this one is Donna, the second biggest that we have here at Asti. These loud morning calls are usually done by the sea monks in the morning. Both female and male sea monks have large air pouches on their neck to help producing loud calling voices. They usually also move around their cage while doing their morning call routine. Siamang is the biggest species of gibbon, and their looks are really distinctive because of their all-black hair. This one is Uchel, our youngest Siamang. When Uchel first came, he was still very young and malnourished. He was a bit afraid of humans and often hugged himself. Now he is so much better and playful. These two are Molly and Boy. Female and male Siamangs usually live as a pair, and as a family once they have offsprings and love doing things together. One of them is grooming like you can see here. Molly is really enjoying boy skill and grooming her under the sunshine. There are two species of Oa or Gibbon at Asti. This is Alfi. He is one of the agile gibbons that we have. In Indonesia, agile gibbons live in Sumatra just like Siamang. The males have white fur at the sides of their face, just like white sideburns. A jail gibbon has fur varying in color from black to red brown like Melly here. She's the only female a jail gibbon at Asti. Then 
we have Koki and Kiko that belong to Muller's gibbon species, which is an endemic species from Borneo. They have a light brown coat with blackish hairs on the chest, face, and insides of the arms with a white frame around their face. This is Sylvie. She is a Sundaic silver langur or silvered leaf monkey. Just like her name, she has beautiful silver hair and eats mostly green leaves. Unfortunately, Sylvie cannot be released back to the wild because she has a disease that can infect other primates in the wild and endanger them. This is our big tailed macaque or brook named Tamon. Tamon was rescued from a home where he was kept in a chicken pen and fed with the food that his owner ate. He was malnourished when he came to Asti. After being cared at Asti, now he is really active and loves to eat almost every fruits and vegetables that he was fed. He loves to eat boiled eggs and chicken too, and also insects like crickets. Look how adorable he is! Next is our small friend Beck. She is a banded palm shepherd, which originated from Sumatra. She is a nocturnal species, which means she usually sleeps through the day and becomes active when the night comes. Shepherds are omnivores, so they can eat meat, eggs, insects, and fruits. Then we have Eva the Sumatran tiger. She was confiscated from a private villa in Sentul Bogor. Before she was rescued, Asti was told that she was fed with dry food for cat. Until now, Eva is still doing her rehabilitation program at Asti. She really loves playing in her pool, taking naps on her bed, and running around her cage when she feels playful. Cassowaries are fed with mixed fruits two times a day. Because of their big body size, one meal for them can weigh up to 3 kilos of fruits. The carnivores are fed with meat once every day, except on Monday. This is because in the wild, carnivores don't usually have meals every day. So we try to simulate that situation at Asti. The crocodile's feeding time is different from other carnivores. They are fed with chickens only once every few weeks. Our primates are fed with fruits, vegetables, and sometimes boiled eggs, chicken, or tempeh three times a day. Once in the morning, once in the afternoon, and once in the evening. 